curious about the stories behind a classic film from 1969, there's a lot to discover about The Undefeated. It's filled with surprising, funny, and touching moments that make it a memorable watch. Keep an eye out for these hidden treasures as you enjoy the movie. With its mix of humor, surprises, and heartfelt scenes, it's a journey you won't forget. Share your thoughts and favorite parts with us below. We'd love to hear your experiences. Keep watching for more interesting tidbits. The Undefeated offers a diverting, though not compelling, experience for viewers. While it's enjoyable to watch, most of the cast, especially John Wayne, could have put in more effort. If you're a fan of westerns, much of the storyline may feel familiar, except for a somewhat ambiguous ending that presents a different take on heroism compared to typical John Wayne films. Despite this, the actors seem to be having a good time on screen, approaching the movie as more of a lighthearted adventure than a serious endeavor, which can be infectious for the audience. It's advisable not to set your expectations too high, but you'll likely find it a pleasant way to spend a couple of hours. However, The Undefeated also has its flaws. It's a below-average western, weighed down by a terrible soundtrack. The film leans heavily on the audience sympathizing with the Confederacy, which may not sit well with everyone. One particularly cringe-worthy scene involves Confederate Colonel Langdon offering a pocket watch to his freed slaves, who then fade into the background without any further acknowledgement. Given the attitudes towards the Confederacy at the time of the film's release, such portrayals were more acceptable, though they may not resonate well with modern audiences. The soundtrack exacerbates the film's shortcomings. It's loud, repetitive, and obnoxious, reminiscent of the music used in Bugs Bunny cartoons. The transitions between scenes are drawn out, featuring long shots of horses accompanied by this grating music. By the end of the film, the soundtrack becomes unbearable, prompting some viewers to mute it altogether. The best part of the viewing experience is when the screen finally goes dark and silent, providing relief from the cacophony that preceded it. In summary, The Undefeated offers some entertainment value, but falls short in several areas, particularly in its portrayal of the Confederacy and its soundtrack. Despite these drawbacks, fans of Westerns may still find it worth watching, albeit with tempered expectations. In the 1930s, John Wayne started acting in Western movies for Columbia Pictures. But there was trouble between him and the boss, Harry Cohn. Cohn spread rumors about Wayne, saying he caused problems and chased after actresses. Even though Wayne said it wasn't true, Cohn's gossip hurt Wayne's career for a while. Wayne got angry when he found out and told Cohn he'd never work for Columbia again. He kept his word, even when Columbia offered him a lot of money later on. After Cohn died in 1958, Wayne still refused to work with Columbia. On January 25, 1950, John Wayne put his handprints outside Grauman's Chinese Theater, becoming the 125th person to do so. Then, in 2007, he was honored in the California Hall of Fame. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and First Lady Maria Shriver announced it on August 20, 2027. These honors show how much Wayne mattered to Hollywood, despite the problems he faced. John Wayne's journey in Hollywood began with a twist of fate when Raoul Walsh, director of The Big Trail, suggested the name John Wayne inspired by American Revolutionary War General Mad Anthony Wayne. Despite fractures and injuries during filming, he remained dedicated, prioritizing his fans' expectations over his own pain. Wayne's commitment to his audience persisted throughout his career, even during less successful periods in the mid-1950s when he collaborated with pop singers to appeal to younger viewers. In films like Rio Bravo, The Alamo, and North to Alaska, he shared the screen with talents like Ricky Nelson, Frankie Avalon, and Fabian. Despite the challenges, Wayne's determination to entertain never wavered. In the world of Hollywood, stories often intertwine with the lives of its stars. One such tale revolves around a film made in 1969. The lead actor, known for his bravery both on and off screen, faced personal battles with illness, but remained a symbol of hope for many. His clash with a British film critic added complexity to his public image. Another actor in the same film, in his final roles before his sudden death, left a lasting impression on television viewers. It's interesting to note that his last performances aired on the same night, a curious twist in the world of entertainment. These stories give us a glimpse into the ups and downs experienced by those involved in the movie. In the world of cinema, there are some actors who leave an indelible mark with their performances. One such individual, a legendary figure in the film industry, had a colorful journey both on and off the screen. His presence was not just felt in front of the camera, but also in the hearts of those who admired him. Throughout his career, he faced numerous challenges, including health issues that threatened to derail his passion for acting. 
Despite setbacks, his determination remained unwavering as he demonstrated by defying odds to attend a prestigious event. His roles on screen were diverse, portraying characters who met various fates, some more memorable than others. Among his many roles, there were instances where his character's outcome remained uncertain, leaving audiences to ponder. Even in the early days of his career, there were opportunities that slipped through his fingers, leading to other actors seizing the spotlight. Nevertheless, his legacy endures, leaving an unforgettable imprint on the annals of cinema. Richard Mulligan, known for his roles in Soap and Empty Nest, starred alongside Rock Hudson in The Undefeated. Hudson, who underwent surgery early in his career, couldn't sing due to its side effects, impacting his role as King Arthur in Camelot. Additionally, Hudson was initially chosen for a role in Dynasty spin-off The Colbys, but declined due to health issues, with Charlton Heston taking the part instead. In 1969, a famous movie brought together two big Hollywood stars, John Wayne and Rock Hudson. Even though John Wayne was known for being conservative, he acted alongside Hudson, who people knew was gay. They became good friends, which lasted until Wayne passed away in 1979. John Wayne wasn't just a movie star, he also influenced people in real life. In the late 1970s, he did commercials for a bank in Los Angeles called Great Western Savings Bank. After seeing Wayne in the ads, one guy walked into the bank with $500,000 and said, if John Wayne trusts this bank, so do I. This led to lots of new people opening accounts at the bank. Another actor in the movie, John Agar, had a tough time in his career. He felt frustrated competing with other actors like Tony Curtis and Rock Hudson for the best roles. After a while, he left Universal Studios. The undefeated movie not only showed the friendship between Wayne and Hudson, but also how Wayne's commercials impacted the bank. These different parts show how the movie's influence stretched beyond just entertainment, affecting real-life situations like banking. In the world of Hollywood, certain stories stand out for more than just their on-screen magic. There's a tale of camaraderie and unexpected talents that emerged during the making of a particular film. This story isn't just about the actors and their performances. It's about the friendships formed and the surprising skills uncovered behind the scenes. As we delve into the anecdotes and moments from this production, we gain a deeper appreciation for the unique blend of personalities that shaped it. It's a reminder of the human connections and hidden talents that make filmmaking truly special. In the world of film production, decisions can often shape the outcome of a project in unexpected ways. Take, for instance, a casting choice that led to the replacement of a lead actor just before shooting began. The director initially favored one actor, but when he backed out, another stepped in to take his place. This change might have been influenced by past grievances between the lead actor and the one who withdrew, adding an interesting layer of intrigue to the decision-making process. Throughout the history of cinema, certain actors have formed strong partnerships appearing together in multiple films. This was the case with two actors who collaborated on five projects, showcasing their on-screen chemistry across various genres and storylines. Sometimes creative differences can lead to public disagreements, as was the case when a legendary actor publicly criticized a director for his portrayal of a beloved era in American history. This clash of opinions highlighted the actor's steadfast belief in preserving a romanticized version of the past, contrasting with the director's vision for a more gritty and realistic portrayal. Overall, these anecdotes provide a fascinating glimpse into the inner workings of Hollywood, where casting decisions on screen partnerships and clashes of creative perspectives all play a role in shaping the final product. It's these behind-the-scenes stories that add depth and complexity to the films we know and love. In the late 1960s, a famous lawman and a young actor became good friends. They met while working on movie sets. The lawman, known for his adventures in the Wild West, shared his knowledge about law and fighting with the actor. This helped the actor play roles of lawmen and fighters better in movies. Another actor, famous for his roles in cowboy films, initially said no to a part in a movie because he didn't like some parts of the script. But a famous filmmaker convinced him to change his mind. He adjusted his role to remove the parts he didn't like. Later, he won an award for his acting in that movie. Outside of acting, one of the actors bought a big boat in 1962. He didn't like one of the movies he was in, but agreed to do it because he wanted to sail his boat to Europe. These stories give us a peek into the lives of these famous people, showing us their friendships, beliefs, and interests beyond acting. In the realm of Hollywood history, there are stories of challenges, triumphs, and breakthroughs. One such tale involves a group of actors who navigated through the unpredictable world of showbiz with resilience and determination. 
In a certain film, a fading star faced unexpected setbacks, finding himself billed after another actor. Despite this, he persevered, showcasing his charm and talent. Meanwhile, another veteran actor grappled with financial troubles after a big project, yet managed to overcome them through sheer dedication to his craft. Amidst these challenges, a newcomer made his mark, earning his first credited feature film role. This breakthrough propelled him into new opportunities, where his talent and dedication shone brightly. This movie stands as a reminder of Hollywood's ups and downs, where established stars, veterans, and rising talents each have their own journey. Their stories, woven together within the narrative, continue to captivate audiences, showcasing the resilience and pursuit of success inherent in the entertainment industry. In a small Texan town, a notable film was shot in the 1960s, starring a legendary actor who not only acted, but also directed and produced the movie. An Emmy-winning actor faced an interesting journey with the awards, missing out on one occasion due to being involved in a strike. Despite this setback, he eventually claimed recognition for his talent in a comedy series. A famous actor once hoped to play a particular historical figure in a movie, believing it would skyrocket his career. However, he was passed over for the role, which went to another esteemed actor chosen by the director instead. All these anecdotes shed light on the diverse paths and aspirations of well-known personalities in the entertainment industry. In the past, people often talked about the different parts of movies, especially those that showed a variety of human experiences, including LGBTQ relationships. One important person in the movie industry made some interesting choices that made him stand out. For instance, he once said no to a movie role that many others didn't want. This showed he had good taste and a unique way of telling stories. During an awards show, he did something surprising and kind that got a lot of attention. He gave his Oscar trophy to another actor. This wasn't just being a good sport. It showed he was humble and respected other actors a lot. Stories like these give us a peek into who he is and how he interacts with others in the entertainment world. These stories show that he cares about being real and getting along well with others in the industry. They show he makes different choices and takes his work seriously. Each story adds to the picture of who he is behind the scenes of the undefeated. They help us understand how he's made his mark on the entertainment industry. In short, these stories, whether about movie roles or award shows, give us more insight into his character and journey in the world of the undefeated. In the late 1960s, there was a cool movie that brought together a bunch of actors who had worked together before. Richard Mulligan and B. Arthur had been in three TV shows together, Soap, The Golden Girls, and Empty Nest. They were really good together on screen. Then there's John Wayne, who was a big deal in Hollywood. He met Steven Spielberg at a memorial service for Joan Crawford. Even though Spielberg wanted Wayne to be in his movie 1941, Wayne thought it wasn't patriotic enough. But they stayed friends. Wayne even had this idea for a movie about a camel race in Morocco with him and his friend Maureen O'Hara. Sadly, Wayne died before they could make it happen. Ben Johnson, another actor, was in some really famous movies like Shane and The Last Picture Show. He was known for being good at lots of different roles. These actors all had connections behind the scenes, and they worked together to make great movies. Each of them left their own mark on the film industry, showing how relationships in Hollywood can be pretty special. In a remarkable revelation, it was disclosed in Michael Munn's biography of John Wayne that he was targeted for assassination by Joseph Stalin, and Mao Zedong in the late 1950s and 1960s due to his perceived embodiment of American democratic values. Wayne's staunch anti-communist stance made him a prime target for the dictators, who viewed him as a symbol of resistance to their ideologies. While Khrushchev reportedly rescinded Stalin's order following the latter's death, Mao allegedly persisted in demanding Wayne's demise well into the 1960s, as detailed in Munn's book. Despite the passing of many of his contemporaries and the decline of several Hollywood stars' careers, John Wayne remained a dominant figure in American cinema until his retirement in 1976. As others faded from the spotlight or retired from acting, Wayne continued to star in movies, maintaining his status as one of the top box office draws in the United States until the mid-1970s. A noteworthy connection to one of Wayne's earlier films, Rio Grande, emerged in The Undefeated when Ben Johnson's character mentions the Rio Grande as a possible destination for Wayne's adopted son and Rock Hudson's daughter. This reference ties back to the 1950 film in which Wayne and Johnson starred under the direction of John Ford. In the world of movies, some friendships last a long time. One example is John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. Even though John went through a breakup during the making of a film, he didn't talk about it much until later. 
He really respected Maureen, often saying she was the best friend he ever had during their 39 years of knowing each other. Richard Mulligan acted in a bunch of TV shows made by Susan Harris. He played Dr. Harry Weston in three of them. Many people think Maureen was John's best co-star. They were in five movies together. She even set aside a part of her home just for him, which shows how strong their bond was. In the late 1960s, a remarkable film brought together a talented cast including Lee Merriweather, John Wayne, and Ben Johnson. Merriweather, often linked to the Batman series, portrayed Catwoman in the 1966 movie adaptation, not the TV show. John Wayne, a renowned actor, had his son Patrick appearing in The Searchers. Ben Johnson frequently acted alongside Wayne in various films, solidifying their cinematic partnership. Their collaboration in The Undefeated highlighted their talents, making it a classic film. It's fascinating how these actors brought their unique skills to the movie, creating a memorable cinematic experience. In a classic Western tale, a blend of actors from different backgrounds comes together to create an unforgettable experience. From seasoned veterans to newcomers, each brings a unique perspective to the story. One standout moment in this Western journey connects generations of actors as a father and son duo, though not seen together on screen, share a bond that transcends the movie's release. Their presence adds a layer of depth to the narrative, echoing the timeless essence of the genre. Another actor, unhappy with Hollywood's portrayal of his heritage, made a decisive choice to pivot away from mainstream cinema, focusing instead on projects that celebrated his culture. This decision added authenticity to his later works, resonating with audiences who appreciated his commitment to challenging stereotypes. This blend of talents from different eras and backgrounds enriches the story, making it more than just a typical Western tale. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and the ability of film to bring together diverse voices in a shared narrative.